Shalom and good day. We welcome you to another week of our devotionals. We look into God's word and we wait to hear from him as we learn from scripture. In our week ahead, we are going to be looking at symbols of God's word. When we look in the Bible, we see that uh, the word of God has been compared to many symbols or word pictures. Now, word pictures or symbols um, present a deeper alternate meaning in addition to the obvious meaning that is spoken about. It also is designed to give a profound meaning and also uncovers certain truths for us. So today we look at one of those symbols, which is God's word as food. Let's read from scripture, Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So food is the most basic element for our survival. We take a lot of time and planning to make a meal uh, so that we can keep ourselves nourished and healthy. We ensure that uh, we eat food so that it sustains us. If we eat too little of it, it can turn to starvation. And, and if we don't eat any of it, it can even move into death. Uh, food is something that really determines our growth and our development. So we need to ensure that we eat food on a regular basis. And that's why most of us have three meals a day to ensure that we grow and develop. And nothing really satisfies us like food. When we feel hungry, it's only something that we eat can actually satisfy that hunger pain. Similarly, God's word is compared to food. In the scripture today, we see how God's word is compared to bread. Bread is something that sustains us. We cannot live without bread. Just like our physical bodies need bread, so also our spiritual lives need the bread of God's word. It's something that we need to keep feeding on. God's word is something that we need to keep feeding on to keep us nourished, to keep us healthy, to keep us mature and developed. If we do not eat food or if we do not uh, dwell on God's word, which is compared to as food, it can lead to spiritual starvation. And none of God's word can lead us to a place of spiritual death. We also see that each man, every one of us, have a, have a longing for, for, for the Word of God. And this can be filled only with God's presence as we read God's Word. We also see in the Bible that God's Word is compared to milk. And uh, it's written in Peter, like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk. And it says, cry out for its nourishment. So just like babies, are nourished with milk, we also need God's word as uh, like God's word to, to build us. God's word is also compared to solid food, which helps us to grow in maturity. So just like our daily meal time, let us consciously remember to keep our spiritual lives well nourished by feeding on the word of God. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word that is like food to us that nourishes us, that builds us, that makes us grow, that fills our every deepest longing. We pray that you will give us the strength to love your word afresh this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.